Hello, and welcome to our training videos for Control Rig. Control Rig is a combined solution integrating a genset controller and a voltage regulator. It allows to manage and monitor a genset operation from a single interface. This video series will cover the key features and benefits of Control Rig and will show you how to use and configure the device. For this video, we are using a fully functional test unit from our training facility. Our test equipment is based on a diesel engine coupled with an LSA 42.3 L9 60K VA generator. All necessary sensors and control signals are connected from the switchboard to the training room where we have a control rig unit installed. For this video, we will focus on the Control Rig 200P version with the auto mains failure capability. On the Control Rig HMI, human machine interface, we can see the command buttons, the status LEDs, and the wide LCD display. From the HMI, click on OK to access the main menu. The first menu contains all events and alarms log. For each of them, we have up to 50 records, which can be navigated using the up and down arrows. The second menu is General Settings. It allows to configure the main options of the controller, including the main running mode, AMF, island, etc. More details will be given on this particularly important menu in the coming videos. The third menu displays the current warnings and alarms. The difference with the log is that on this screen, only active alarms will appear. The fourth menu is for service. It allows to check the status of the device connections. It also gives access to the M Logic menu. The last menu lets you configure the inputs and outputs connections. For instance, in the outputs section of this menu, you can assign the genset starter to the first output which is able to supply up to 6 amps DC current to start the engine. Here is a useful tip. For quick access to the AVR menu, push on the up and down arrow simultaneously. Another tip. The mute button, when pressed over one second, gives quick access to the current list of alarms. You can see that there is a red LED flashing mentioning an alarm. Don't worry about it, as it is just concerning the low level of control rig DC supply. For this, we are going to the AVR menu where we're going to set the desired nominal voltage. If required, we enter the password. For instance, 2002 for default master level. From this screen, we can adjust the voltage using the up and down arrows. The back arrow is used to navigate up in the menu or to exit a screen. Okay, now we're going to carry out some tests. 
Now we are starting the generator set by using the on button. We see the control rig preparing the startup on screen. Now the generator set starts. And we see that the voltage is 400 volts as intended. To stop the gen set, we can either click on the off button once and wait for the stop sequence countdown, or we can force a quick stop by pressing the off button again. The AVR settings menu also provides access to other settings such as PID settings and user function setup to enhance jet set load capability and transient performances. Another interesting function is soft start, which allows a smooth buildup of the voltage. We are now going to test this feature. As you can see, we define a duration for the sequence. Now, we start the gen set. And we see that the voltage slowly increases to reach the nominal level. This soft start function is very useful for induction motor starting and for transformer magnetization applications.